They're gonna look good. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, what the heck is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, first things first, I'm running a summer kickoff special on MDM Performance. So our stage one and two kits for the Power Shokes, I'm gonna be running 100 off the stage two and 50 off of the stage one, which is a pretty smoking deal. Um, you guys respond to that like absolutely killer. A couple of people have been asking if we're gonna be running any uh, like summer specials or whatever. So hit the first link in the description, get your Power Shoke parts now. We're gonna be running that from today, the day this video goes live, until June 20th, which is the first day of summer. So if you've been on the fence about upgrading your power shook to some serious horsepower, uh, now would be the time to do it. We're probably not going to do another one until like Black Friday. Um, like I said, you guys respond to this super, super well. So I hope this can help you guys make your decision if you want to do that or not. Um, if you have any questions on the thing, post a comment below or shoot me an email, or you can go back through the videos and check out some stuff. I pretty much cover everything um, a bunch of times throughout the history of the channel. All right, but anyways, we are here today in the shop. We had the very first job ever that we performed in the new shop. And also, the leveling kit we use in this video will be on the website. I'm gonna put that up on there. A lot of guys are asking me you know, what leveling kit it was and some questions, this and that. It will be live on the website the day this video goes live. So, here you go, first video, new shop, enjoy. You're good. All right, straight, I'm back. So, I like that. What do you think? We could even go closer to the wall. Yeah, getting in and out is a little tight to the door. You were way under that, the track. You could have cut, you could have cut straight under that. Today in the garage, we got JB's 2017 King Ranch F250. What we are doing is we are giving it a slight makeover. We're doing a ready lift 2.5 and we are doing some sweet wheels and tires. All right, guys, I get some questions on how uh, hard this is to install, so I'm going to kind of give you a quick walkthrough. Uh, so first things first, there's a couple things you want to do. The directions are actually very good with this ready lift kit. It gives you a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Um, first things first, uh, drop the uh, sway bar off of the frame mounts. Um, you can lower it down like that. We have it sitting on the big uh, orange jack there. Then come in and do your lower shock mounts here. Um, so disconnect those. After you get that done, you want to do your brake line so you can lower the axle and you're not going to break anything. Uh, brake line bolts to the frame right there, the bracket. So now we are to the point where we are ready to lower the axle to get the coils out. We did break free the uh, track bar mount right here, which is a nut with a 30 millimeter socket on the other side. So we broke that free. I left a bolt in there just so the cab isn't like floating over the axle while we lower this down. But um, up to this point, we have like five minutes into it. I think it took us longer finding the uh, sockets we needed. So yeah, we're ready to lower the axle. We're gonna pull the old coils, put the new coils in, raise it back up, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we got the uh, the coils in. On this side, we just saved some time and put the uh, spring compressors on there, which are these suckers right here. Now, these get real sketchy. I know there's going to be some guys saying that, you know, don't use those, just drop the axle lower. You know, we could have disconnected some more stuff, but we saved time, threw those on real quick, popped it in. And actually, the other side, we were able to get it pushed down enough where we uh, just took a tiny pry bar, or we took the pry bar, and we uh, just pushed it up over, like, the bottom, the seat right here. Pushed it up over there, was able to get it in without using the spring compressor. So simple deal there. Lower the axle as much as you can. Just keep an eye on your uh, ABS lines and your, and your brake lines and stuff. Um, now what we're working on is the factory track bar bracket. Now this is all factory hardware. I think these are like 18 millimeters. And then uh, there's three up on the upper side. So we got to pull the factory mount out. And this is the new mount that goes in. So there's a couple ways around this. You know, you could have got a adjustable track bar and not did that and used the factory mount, but this is more of like a budget friendly kit. So this just includes a new mount and you slap that sucker in and you're good to go. So he's working on pulling the bracket out. Once we get that out, we're gonna put the new one in using the factory hardware, which is pretty nice. You don't have to worry about, you know, finding the bolts. Just save, Don't make sure you don't lose the ones that you pull out of there. Once we get that in, we're just gonna put the track bar back in with the factory bolt. Then we're gonna raise up the axle. 
sway bar drop brackets go right there and then your shock extensions and this kit is ready for alignment now that's a ride right there brother <laughs> we made it to uh we made it to ntb uh we made it just in time for the alignment i don't have a mask on and he's the dude's like for real about a mask so uh yeah i'm just staying way back but yeah we're about to do the alignment and then do the fitment on the wheels and tires these trucks with this two and a half leveling kit they actually sit a smidge lower in the back it's hard to tell but it has a slight cali lean now you can solve that with a bigger block in the rear which we're probably going to do on his truck and on mine but for right now cali lean it is all right so we got the wheels back made it back to the shop this is a long day this is a long process it's probably gonna be a long video too so old dan here Diamond Dan, Uncle Dan, thinks he's going to scrape with his boat. He wasn't kidding. It's pretty close. Oh! <laughs> so what we're going to do, guys, coming up here in, um, you know, a couple videos from now, he's going to hit the trailer. Can you see that side? So a couple videos from now, we are engine swapping the old Baja wake boat here. Old 5.7 gas are going in there. Um, he never winterized it, right? So it the it froze and the old block just has like a three inch crack in it. All right, he got it. We're good. He's in. So the boat's gonna stay there until we do the engine swap. You ready to do the engine swap in the boat? Just four hour job. Four hours. Probably not going to clear. So we're probably going to have to do a bumper spacer and um, possibly trim back here because he has the fender flare on here for the uh, two-tone on the King Ranch. So we're probably going to have to trim this fender flare off just a little bit right there, but it looks really good. I can't wait to get it outside to get like a proper, proper shot. But yeah, the two-tone with the King Ranch. Now what we got to do is paint match the bumpers with the color of the two-tone. Looks really good, what do you guys think? All right, so we literally just put the bumper spacer in in like record time. All it is is four spacers that go back behind these four bolts on each side, um, just little one inch collars that go back there and they give you new hardware. So now you can see how far the bumper is actually spaced off of the truck. Um, so now we're gonna check bumper clearance, but it's probably still gonna hit in the back. That's, we didn't change anything back there. So we're hoping it clears here. So fire it up. I think it's going to clear. Alright, moment of truth. I trimmed this side up. Um, should be pretty good. Uh, we got the bumper spacer on. We did have to hit this in a little bit, which we'll finish. We'll finish this up um, a little cleaner. But we're all kind of tapped on time. We all got to make it home for dinner. Um, so bumper is tapped in, spacers on. All right, you fired up. Um, just trim this side back. Ooh! All right, come back out. <laughs> all right, so we got to do a little more trimming right here on that fender flare should be good man does that look good twenty two by twelve negative forty four I think it's like the perfect amount of wheel sticking out and this is on a thirty seven so it still has a nice sidewall yeah that looks real nice we still have a fender liner rubbing on this side uh, but we need to get some self-tapping screws that we don't have currently at the shop. So we're going to get the uh, self-tappers, zing one in the the, the very bottom of the uh, fender liner, and it'll it'll take care of that. But dang, looks real good, guys. What do you think? Two and a half leveling kit, 22 by 12s on a 37, 13, 50, 22 uh, amp MT. 
I think it looks pretty dang sick. With the two-tone King Ranch, oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna do a final rock walk around and I'll show you guys exactly what we did. Um, didn't touch the rear, the rear's still sitting factory. Um, so we did the one inch Wicked Customs bumper spacer up here. We did have to hammer this in just a little bit and we trimmed straight down here with the grinder, you know, just to trim off this bottom because the tire was rubbing there a little bit. Ready lift two and a half inch leveling kit with the uh, factory shock extensions. We didn't do shocks yet. Probably gonna add something in down the road. Um, and we trimmed back here pretty good. You can kind of see where we, uh, you know, hacked off the fender flare. We took off the bottom cap that covers these two pinch bolt things here. Um, and also trimmed up in there pretty good, kind of at an angle, as you can see, kind of straight up in. We did the exact same thing on the other side. That's air conditioning drippage. So here you go, finished product. What do you guys think? JB's truck, Chris in the shop. Man, is that a good looking truck. Very happy with how it turned out. All right guys, that is it. The first job officially done in the first, the first, the very first deal in the new shop. I just stuttered literally like crazy. Um, while I was outside getting some videos, they were in here cleaning up the tools. We had absolutely every tool out I think that I had. So I don't know, there you go, we're done. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. What are your thoughts? Final thoughts? Great. <laughs> Great? Great. Good deal.